Good afternoon, welcome into the Jenny Craig Pavilion on the campus of the University 
of San Diego. A little matinee basketball in women's college basketball in the West Coast Conference. I'm Brayton Soprenant bringing you the action today on the West Coast Conference Network. It's Play for K Day today at San Diego. Breast cancer awareness. There's a lot of pink in the stands, obviously. San Diego wearing their pink tops and pink shorts. Pepperdine wearing their blue tops and blue shorts as well. Should be a good matchup here in the West Coast Conference. Pepperdine comes in 8-16 and 16 on the year. 3-11 and 11 in West Coast Conference play. San Diego 14-10 and 10 and 8-5. and 5, Both coming off of wins from their last time out on Thursday. San Diego on a four-game winning streak. Pepperdine coming off a huge win at BYU. Their first ever win at the Marriott Center in their school's history. So two big important wins for either team. Kira Oakry with the steal and the drive and the points to get things started for San Diego after Pepperdine won the tip. 2-0 lead for the Toreros. Starting lineups today, Pepperdine, Teresa Grace, Benefo, Jane Waba, Marley Walls, Becky Obima, and Ali Stedman. As for San Diego, Kira Oakry, Ayana Kalfani, Maya Pace, Casey Newbert, and Amanda Olinger. Personal foul on Amanda Olinger, first personal first team foul of the quarter. Kara Oakry comes out of the game as she had a loose tie on her wrap on her shoulder, so Jess Finney checks into the game for San Diego, and Pepperdine's on the board for the first time with a quick bucket. Jess Finney wearing number 25 today in the pink. Usually wears number three. As Calfani drives into the lane, gets it to Newbert, and Newbert takes too many steps. And that'll be a traveling violation against San Diego. So I mentioned San Diego on a four-game winning streak. That puts them in third place in the West Coast Conference, trailing behind Portland and Gonzaga, who are both tied at the leaderboard with one loss each. So San Diego four games behind the top two spots with five games to go. Portland and Gonzaga are playing each other this afternoon. Out inside the paint now, Obima back outside trying to get it to Stedman and overthrows Stedman, puts it, putting it into the San Diego bench and there'll be a turnover for Pepperdine. Officials today for the game, Lisa Jones, Kyle Bacon and Amy Cromenhoek. As you will see, we're in their pink today and play for K. Calfani right side, layup, draws the foul, counts the bucket, and one. Coming away to the Toreros. Another great play by Anna Calfani, who has been on a scoring spree in her last three games. Put up 20 points against St. Mary's. Put up 18 points against BYU and then put up 16 points against LMU on Thursday. And has already gotten the team lead already with three points on a nice three point play to give the Toreros a three point lead. They lead it 5-2, 8-14 left here in the first quarter. Obima over to Stedman, Stedman the 18 footer. And that rattles out. And Newbert pulled down the rim, or pulled down the rebound, but was out of bounds in the process. Probably could have let it go and would have been a San Diego basketball. She knew it after. So a tough break there for San Diego. And Pepperdine will take possession again. Stedman in the corner on the left side. Down inside to Obima. Obima getting surrounded. Obima trying to get a cross-court pass. Got rejected by the rim. San Diego with the steal. Maya Pace, Jess Finney. Layup, good. Torero's out to a 7-2 lead. San Diego played Pepperdine early in the year in Malibu and beat Pepperdine 58-51, never trailed in that game. They're gonna try to do that again today, try to add to their winning streak. Jump shot from Marley Walls is no good. Board by Newbert in transition. Olinger, left hand, layup goes. And San Diego takes a 9-2 lead now on a 7-0 run in the last minute of play. All spreading the love, Finney, Olinger, Oakry, and Calfani all scored so far tonight, seven minutes to go in the first quarter. 
Walls gets cornered, tries to drive baseline on Calfani, picks up her dribble, cutting to the basket was Man Banifo, and then throws it back. And it's gonna be a backcourt violation against Pepperdine as Waba tried to run it down. And so San Diego will take the ball back. Inbounds pass from Newbert over to Calfani, who works to the right side. The handoff to Maya Pace outside the arc in the front court. Off the screen from Olinger, cuts to the left and behind the back to the right. Right side block, jump shot, top corner of the backboard, no good. Calfani gets a hold of it. She puts up a shot off the front end of the rim and bounces away as Stedman pulls it down for Pepperdine. A good stop there defensively as they try to snap the 7 0 run from San Diego. 9-2 lead for the Torero, 6.30 to go in the first quarter. Stedman against Calfani off the screen from Obima. Obima now has it at the right elbow in the paint. Reverse pivots, Sand takes a couple of steps in the process of the shuffle. So a traveling violation against Pepperdine and San Diego will make yet another stop defensively. Substitution changes for Pepperdine. They now go to the bench, Maya Lee. Amosa comes into the game. Six foot one sophomore out of Garden Grove, California. And a modern day Santa Ana product. Jess Finney thought about a three, go down inside to Olinger, back out to Calfani. Calfani, right block, spins the right hand, the soft touch, and it's good. 11 2 lead for San Diego on a 9 0 run. 5.45 to play here in the first quarter. San Diego, five for seven from the field. An excellent start to the game. At the free throw line now is Waba. Waba posting up, kicks it outside. 18 foot jump shot for Mbanifo, that's no good. Back down inside and another jump shot by Walls. That's short, rebounded by San Diego. Here comes Calfani, trying to direct traffic. Calfani tried to force it back to Newbert, got stuffed. Regains possession, then back out to Finney as Calfani slows it down to the left side arc. Top of the key now, Olinger. Back outside to Maya Pace. Cuts to the left, gets cut off by Walls. Outlet pass to Calfani. Six seconds to shoot on the shot clock. Down to four, down to three. Newbert down to two. Layup is good. 13 to two. 11 0 run for San Diego. A steal by the Toreros, offensive foul. Maya Pace too strong in the paint. After a good steal there by Calfani. It's gonna be a timeout. Great start for San Diego. They've jumped out to an 11-0 run and a 13-2 lead on the West Coast Conference Network. Thirteen two lead for San Diego as they've jumped out on an 11-0 run. 
in the first quarter. I'm Braden Sopreda bringing the action today on the West Coast Conference Network. Thanks to all of you for joining us today. Matinee, basketball on a Saturday in the West Coast Conference at Women's College Basketball. A little bit short there by Mbanefo. Rebound Olinger and another great transition play by San Diego. Casey Newbert on the board yet again, and San Diego has extended their lead now 15-2. Marley Walls, right side, cut off by Calfani in the paint, reverses course, blocked by Calfani. Picked it up was in Banifo, and then back out to Walls in the front court. Under four minutes to go in the first quarter. Walls left side, seven seconds to shoot. 18-foot jump shot, too strong at the back end of the iron, and corralled by Calfani. Up to Finney in transition. Olinger, jump stops, layup, in. 17-2. Lead for San Diego, and acting head coach Brian Rosario has seen enough. He was going to use his first timeout of the quarter. So San Diego off to a 17-2 lead here in the first quarter on a 15-0 run in the last four minutes and 40 seconds. Pepperdine hasn't scored in the last five minutes and 31 seconds. Pepperdine, of course, like I mentioned, coming off of a big win against BYU, their first ever at the Marriott Center. But that snapped a four game losing streak in which during that time they have lost 11 of the last 13 games. San Diego on the other side have won eight of their last 11 on a four game winning streak. And trying to keep that number three spot. BYU today in action against LMU is all over LMU. They were up 37 to 13 at halftime, now lead at 48-21 with five minutes to go in the third quarter. San Diego trying to keep that one game lead. Left wide open is Jess Finney, and she's just a little bit short, but Newbert with the hustle play pulls it down for San Diego. Finney slowing down the possession with a pass over to the far side wing in Maya Pace. Top of the key now Newbert working back to the right side. Picks up her dribble, gets it back over to Finney. Right side arc, down to the corner. Newbert at the right elbow. Olinger just outside the arc. Two seconds to shoot, one shot clock violation. San Diego lost track of time there on the possession. And a tough turnover there for San Diego with three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Waba to inbound for Pepperdine. And San Diego with a little bit of pressure as Calfani picks up Walls at the midcourt logo. Walls works it back to the left, the left-handed dribble right outside the left side wing. Top of the key now, Treya Brumfield who just checked in the game for the first time today, the six foot two freshman out of Washington. Woba, Waba inside the paint, back out to Walls, five seconds on the shot clock. Walls trying to find a play, place to go inside the paint to Brody. And that's no good. And back to back shot clock violations by both teams. Kara Oakry gets a rewrap on her shoulder. She's back in. Came in and scored the first points of the game off a steal. And then lost a little bit of her bandage she has on her left shoulder and had to get retaped up. And she's back and ready to go. 218 left in the first quarter, 17 2 lead for the Toreros. Oakry, right side, drives lane, rejected by Waba. And it's going to be a foul. So the foul is going to be on Waba. Draws too much contact with Kira Oakry, and Oakry will go to the line. Kira Oakry, an 81.4% free throw shooter on the season, 80% in conference play. Her first shot from the free throw line is good. Everybody on the Toreros team has actually improved their free throw percentage during conference play, with the exception of Oakry, but Oakry's still shooting 80% from the line. A rebound, a kick out to Finney for three. That's a four point possession there for San Diego. Steal, Finney in the lane, layup, no good, and a rebound by Waba. So San Diego, a nice little four point possession there, have increased their run to a 19 to nothing, and their lead to 21 to two as Pepperdine will go to the free, free throw line for the first time today as Walls was fouled. Newbert with the foul, her first personal first, third team foul of the quarter. 
So Marley Walls will shoot at the free throw line. Transfer from Bucknell University, 2022 All-Patriot League All-Defensive Team. She's a graduate of Bucknell, won the Patriot League with Bucknell in 2018. And in high school, high school was a candidate for Miss Kentucky basketball. First free throw, no good. Continues their scoreless streak for Pepperdine over the last seven minutes and 18 seconds. Trying to get on the board here. Wall's second free throw is good. So that snaps a 19-0 run for San Diego and makes it a 21-3 game with two minutes to go in the first quarter. Calfani left side with a pass over to Oakry. Top of the key now, Laura Erickstrup who just checked in. Newbert from the left block, good. Casey Newbert had all her points off the left block in the last contest and is continuing that success here. Oakry with the steal, back out to Newbert. Under duress, gets it loose. Oakry, right side arc. Comes back to the top of the key to Calfani. She slows things down with 1.20 to go in the first quarter. Off the screen from Erickstrup. Calfani drives left side, puts up a shot just a little bit short. Gets her own rebound off of a tip. With an outlet pass to Newbert, gets it over to Oakry. And 106 left to go here in the quarter. Oakry, left side elbow, inside the paint. Jump shot, no good on the 10-footer. Rebounded by Brody, who gets it up to Walls. And a good defensive possession there for Pepperdine. Walls almost travels, but keeps her pivot put. Pass inside to Mbanifo. There's Walls. Inside the lane, out to Brumfield for three. Short, Newbert can't get the rebound as she gets boxed out by Mbanifo. 35 seconds on the clock before the end of the first quarter. Outside for Stedman for three, and that's good. Ali Stedman with the first field goal for Pepperdine in the last seven minutes of play. A 21-4 run for San Diego here in the first quarter and a 23-6 lead for the Toreros as they play for the final shot of the first quarter. Alfani in the front court, off the screen from Erickstrup, goes right side, picks up her dribble. Newbert down inside to Erickstrup with the right hand, no good. Newbert tried to get a piece, and it's going to be a foul on the floor. Foul's going to be on Casey Newbert, it looks like. So that'll be her second foul, fourth team foul of the quarter. And with .4 seconds left, Pepperdine will inbound it, and that'll end the first quarter of play. Great start for San Diego. They lead it 23 to six after one quarter on the West Coast Conference Network. Second quarter of action, San Diego shot the lights out in the first quarter. Afiaki, 18-footer, and that is no good. Pulled down by Mbanifo. Shot 59% from the field. Or 10 for or 9 for 17 or 10 for 17. One for two for the three-point line. Two for three from the free throw line. Ten points off turnovers. 
Five bench points, 18 points in the paint as San Diego has dominated the paint in terms of scoring. Kylie Horsmeyer, Kira Okri, Melisungu Afiaki, Laura Erickstrup and Ayata Kalfani on the court right now for San Diego. Kalfani, steal in transition off the mark and pulled down by Walls. Walls trying to go coast to coast. She gets the ball charred loose a little bit by Kalfani, finds her teammate in Obima, and Obima gets fouled. Laura Erickstrup gets hit with the foul, her first personal. Second team foul already of the quarter. Becky Obima at the free throw line. First free throw, good. 64% free throw shooter on the season. Was a leader in the team and blocked shots a year ago. Was third in the West Coast Conference on that. And led the waves in rebounds in 2021 as well. 23 to eight lead for San Diego after the two free throws from Obima. Nice play there by Walls defensively. And here comes San Diego, 9-12 to go here in the second quarter. Calfani with a handoff to the left side to Okri. Top of the key now, Horsmeyer. Around the horn to Afiaki on the near side. Afiaki dribbles a couple times to her left, pumps once, then kicks it back outside to Calfani at the top of the key. Free throw line, Erickstrup loses the ball, stolen by Pepperdine. Here comes Walls. Walls slows it down at the arc, down inside, and Banifo in the paint draws the foul on Kylie Horsmeyer. And Banifel will go to the free throw line. Kylie Horsmeyer's first personal foul, third team foul for the Toreros this quarter. Teresa Grace and Banifo, a Cornell graduate, transfer to Pepperdine over the last offseason. She led Cornell in scoring and was the leader in rebounds, blocks, field goal percentage. Finished her Cornell career, fifth all time in blocks. And her field goal percentage in the Ivy League last year, top 5% as an all Ivy League honorable mention. She makes both of her free throws and it's now a 13 point lead for San Diego as Pepperdine's on a little bit of a run here. Down 23 to 10. Maya Pace in the corner, down inside Olinger, back outside to Oakry for three, bang! Kira Oakry, nothing but net. Stymies the waves come back for a little bit, leads back up to 16. 26-10 lead for the Toreros, 8.09 to go here in the second quarter. Walls penetrates left side, outlet pass to Stedman. Stedman gets cut off as she drove to her left. Inside the paint now is Waba, and she sneaks it past Afiaki for two points of her own, 26 to 12. Moving quickly, there are the Toreros. Maya Pace with a jump shot, short block extended. Gives Pace a 28-12 lead. Or gives the Toreros a 28-12 lead, Maya Pace does. Olinger with the defensive stop, finds it to Pace. Pace, right block, outlet, Oakry, top of the key, Olinger, far side corner, just in front of the arc is Calfani with the jump shot. 30 to 12. San Diego shooting 59% from the field. They usually shoot 38%. Great performance offensively today for the Toreros so far. Stedman for three, that's good. Ali Stedman with the step back. Stedman's got six points. It's now a 30-15 lead for San Diego. Stedman with the tip, but also draws contact on Oakry. First personal foul on Ali. Five foot nine sophomore out of Phoenix, attended Pinnacle High School. A family of athletes. Dad and uncle played football at Delaware. And her brother played football right here at the University of San Diego. So no stranger 
to the facilities here at the University of San Diego. Family, I'm sure, will be watching the Super Bowl closely tomorrow. Her mom used to be a cheerleader for the Philadelphia Eagles, who are in action in Super Bowl 57 tomorrow. Amanda Olinger for three. Too hard off the glass. And a foul by the Toreros will lead to a possession change in favor of Pepperdine. Alfani. Afiaki correction with the foul, her first personal. Fourth team foul for San Diego already here in the second quarter. 6.30 to go before halftime. Walls penetrates left side with the layup. And that's off the mark. Pulled down by Olinger. Up to Maya Pace, who brings it across the timeline. Into the corner, Jess Finney. Uncontested three. Swish. Jess Finney. Having a great scoring day tonight. She's got eight points. 33-15 lead for USD. Six minutes to go before halftime. Waba. Left block, or left corner, elbow. And that's good. Waba with the 15-footer, 33-17. Olinger now at the top of the key. Right side dribble, Oakry picks it off the handoff, stops at the top of the arc. Over to Afiaki now, who tries to work it to Finney and almost gets it stolen by Stedman. By a pace with eight seconds to shoot, posting up, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Mbanifo. Mbanifo back out to Stedman for three. That's in. Ali Stedman feeling it from three tonight. She's now three for three from downtown. It's now 33 to 20. Ali Stedman with nine points. A 13 point lead now for San Diego as Pepperdine starts to climb back in it. Oakry to Jess Finney, five minutes to go in the half. Afiaki right side arc going against Mbanifo and a foul away from the basketball. It's going to be on walls. Foul is on Marley Walls. Her first personal. Second personal and it's going to be a timeout. San Diego leading it 33-20 to on over Pepperdine. 4.57 to go in the half on the West Coast Conference Network. Thirty-three twenty lead for San Diego over Pepperdine. Four fifty-seven to go in the second quarter.
Couple of scores for you in the West Coast Conference. Women's basketball, Gonzaga leads Portland in a battle of two teams tied for first place up in Spokane. 47-39 lead for the Bulldogs with 5.57 to go. BYU all over LMU, 63-38. As BYU tries to get even with San Diego again. Trailing the Toreros by one game in the standings. San Diego here, leading it 33-20 to 20 over Pepperdine. They've done pretty well offensively so far tonight. 56% from the field, 60% from three, and 67% from the free throw line. Have dominated the points in the paint, 18-4. to four. So San Diego... Pepperdine get back underway after reviewing the last play. The call on the field is going on the court's going to stand on the foul call. Alfani top of the key now to Jess Finney. Kylie Horsmeyer at the arc, six seconds shooting the shot clock, five seconds. Finney trying to make a move. Finney gets it off, and that's just to the right. Afiyaki was able to pull down the board and got taken out by Malili Amosa. Malili Amosa fell in the process and went into Afiaki's side and then Afiaki fell on top of her. So Melisugu Afiaki will take a quick break. Foul will be on Mayalili Amosa. Her first personal, third team foul. Jess Finney, the catch and shoot. Just falls out. And Pepperdine in transition draws the foul. Becky o Obima will be shooting at the free throw line. Obima two for two on the day from the free throw line. Our only two points of the night. Our first free throw is no good off the front end. Redshirt senior out of Menifee, California. Transfer from TCU, comes back to Southern California. Second free throw is good. 33-21. And Banifo comes back into the game for Pepperdine as well as Waba. Ayana Calfani brings it across the court. Back over to Maya Pace on the far side. Top of the key now, Amanda Olinger. Finney off the screen from Olinger, down inside of Calfani who cut baseline. Asamran Carr with the 15 footer off the right elbow, and that's good. Asamran Carr just checked into the game for Melisungu Afiaki's on the board for the first time tonight. 35 21 lead for San Diego, 3.48 to go before halftime. Waba takes another step, dragged her pivot foot, and that'll be a turnover for Pepperdine. Calfani across the court, 35-21 lead. Carr just inside the arc on the left side. Over to Calfani who ran into Waba and lost the basketball. Well, Waba pulls it down. Picks up her dribble in the front court, down over to Mbanifo. Mbanifo in the paint, too strong off the glass and Carr pulls down the board. Calfani in transition, finds Olinger and just a little bit too strong. Waba grabs a loose ball, finds her outlet in Stedman. Stedman's three for three from downtown today. All nine of her points, 18 footer, good. 
elbow extended, good for Ali Stedman. Stedman's got 11 points, it's now 35-23 as Finney's three-pointers off the mark, but Calfani steals the basketball off the rebound with the missed jump shot and a foul on Carr. It will be Pepperdine basketball, 2.40 to go in the half. First personal for Carr, fifth team foul for San Diego, and Pepperdine will shoot at the free throw line in the bonus. First free throw for Mbanafo. No good. Therese Grace Mbanafo, I mentioned, Cornell graduate. Leading scorer for Cornell a year ago. Makes the second free throw. And Mbanafo now has five points tonight. Lead's been cut down to 11 for San Diego. Largest lead of the day was 20 points for the Toreros. They led 23 to three with a minute 39 to go in the first quarter. Pepperdine has really done a great job in the second quarter. As a nice move there by Ayana Calfani to make it a 37-24 game. Pepperdine's outscored San Diego in the second quarter, 18 to 14. And Banifo in the paint swatted by Olinger and knocked out of play. So a good block by Amanda Olinger. But it will remain, it will remain Pepperdine basketball. And Banifo left block off the inbound, misses left, and Olinger pulls down the rebound. 2.08 to go in the second quarter. Maya Pace right at the arc on the right side. Calfani, top of the key. Walked a little bit before she started dribbling, but was able to hold off on the travel there. Under two minutes to go before halftime. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Olinger back to Carr. Carr thought about a three. Four seconds left. Carr penetrates left side and makes the left-handed layup. 137 to go. San Diego's got a 39-24 lead. Carr's got four points already coming off the bench. 90 seconds to go before half. Walls with a handoff to Stedman. Stedman for three again, and this time she actually misses. But still a good look for Stedman. It's her first miss from the three-point line today, and actually only her second miss on the afternoon. From the field, 39-24. There's Stedman again, three-pointer. And that's no good off the back end of the iron. Rebound, and Banifo goes up against Carr and draws contact. And Banifo will shoot two. So Therese Grace and Banifo will go back to the free throw line. Already had four attempts so far today. Three for four. And now four for five. Shot 68% on the season for the free throw line, but 81% in conference play for Mbanifo. It's four for six today. Olinger had it and got it knocked away by Woba. Didn't come down strong with it, and Pepperdine will have the possession after a one for two performance on the last free throw strike from Mbanifo. Stedman gets blocked by Calfani. Calfani tries to steal the basketball, lands on it, and gets fouled. Foul's going to be on Walls. That's her third personal foul already with one minute to go in the half. So Walls comes out of the game. Drea Brumfield comes in as well as KK Brody. Carr, top of the key, 47 seconds to shoot. Before halftime, 16 on the shot clock. Carr inside the paint, Carr left side. Carr, good. 41-25 lead, and Cindy Fisher and San Diego is gonna call a timeout. 
Awesome Ron Carr got six points off the bench today as San Diego leads it 41 to 25. San Diego has shot 53% from the field. And a team that usually benefits from the free throw line has only had three shots from the free throw line today so far. As San Diego's two for three from the free throw line. The story though has been 24 points in the paint for San Diego to Pepperdine's four. And the bench for San Diego's come up strong. 14 points coming off the bench for the Toreros. Pepperdine still looking for any type of points and production off their bench this afternoon. Both teams even in fast break points with 10. San Diego has also dominated the points off turnovers with 10 to two. And Pepperdine has committed 13 turnovers so far in the first half to San Diego's five. A commanding 41-25 lead for San Diego here in the first half. Stedman gets cornered, finds Waba. Waba gets it across the court, almost loses the ball, but has great ball skills between a double team. And we're gonna have a turnover from Pepperdine. Shot clock is dead before halftime. San Diego will play for the final shot with a comfortable 41-25 lead. Calfani dribbling it out on the DNSD, the midcourt logo. Off the screen from Carr, go to the right side, elbow over to Oakry. Oakry penetrates, loses the ball. Calfani gets it back, then Banifo grabs it. Calfani rips it from Banifo, and the loose ball finally secured by Pepperdine, but as time expires. A good first half of play for San Diego. They lead it 41-25 as we go to the break on the West Coast Conference Network. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio, Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com.
41-25 lead for San Diego as we get ready to start the second half. San Diego in the first half shot the lights out, and more importantly, the first quarter, USD jumped out to a 23-6 lead at the end of one. And then Pepperdine outscored San Diego in the second quarter, 19-18. Already off to a 2-0 lead here in the third quarter as Newbert shot is off the mark. First half stats, San Diego 53% from the field to 29% for Pepperdine. They're even on three-point percentage, both 50% each, both three for six. As fouls on Casey Newbert. That's Newbert's third personal foul already. First team foul of the quarter. Both shot 67% from the free throw line. 14 turnovers for Pepperdine in the first half compared to six for San Diego. Six scored, or San Diego scored 10 points off turnovers in the first half. Only two for Pepperdine, as in Banifo makes her first of two from the free throw line, make it 41-28, and the second free throw is good, 41-29. Total rebounds, Pepperdine out-rebounded San Diego in the first half, 20-14. But San Diego's dominated bench points and points in the paint, 14-0 San Diego in bench points, and 24-4 the points in the paint ratio, San Diego to Pepperdine in the first half. Both were even on fast break points with 10 each. 8.50 to go in the third quarter. 41-29 lead for San Diego over Pepperdine. Outlet pass there as they try to get it back to Stedman. She got blocked this time and now a foul. Foul's gonna be on Teresa Grace and Banifo. Her first personal foul, first team foul of the quarter. Laura Erickstrup now checks into the game for San Diego, checking in for Newbert, who now has three personal fouls. Newbert, the only Torero with three fouls. Walls has three for Pepperdine. Erickstrup, right side block, and it's going to be at a foul on the floor. You know, to make the shot as she drew contact before she went up but the shot will not count. Foul will be on the floor, and Erickstrup won't get to shoot at the free throw line. Obima, correction, Odebumi with the foul, her first personal. Calfani draws contact on Odebumi again. So now Odabumi's got two personal fouls very quickly. And Pepperdine's already got three team fouls of the quarter. Two more, and San Diego will be able to shoot in the bonus. Now Fani will get to shoot from the free throw line right now. Now Fani, nine points tonight. They're going to go four straight games and double figures. She does with 10. 20 points against St. Mary's on January 28th, followed by an 18-point performance last Saturday against BYU, and then a 16-point performance on Thursday against LMU. Missed the second free throw, 42-29. Stedman for three again. Stedman's made four threes tonight. She's now four for six from downtown. Gives Stedman 14 points. She's averaging 14.8 points in conference, playing 15.7 points on the season. Already has 14 points today with 7.47 to go in the third quarter. It's now a 10-point Torero lead. Oakry to answer for three, and that is no good. Kind of rattled around and shot back up in the air. Thought it might drop in, but that doesn't go. Pepperdine tried to move quickly and threw it away, and Oakry pulled down the steal. Ayana Calfani now near side arc, top of the key to Oakry. Free throw line, Olinger gets the ball knocked away, but recovers and gets it over to Pace. Short corner, Erickstrup misses to the right of the backboard. 
And after the rebound, there is a foul. And the foul will be against San Diego. It's going to be on Amanda Olinger. So second personal foul for Olinger. Forty-two, thirty-two. Stedman and Banifo down inside the paint. Obima puts it home. It's now an eight-point lead for San Diego, who led by as many as twenty points. And Calfani throws it into the bench. So another turnover for San Diego. And Pepperdine has started out the third quarter on a nine-one run. They get back into this game. Stedman outside and Banifo in the short corner. Decides not to shoot. And it gets back to the point. Walls with 20 seconds on the shot clock gets put on her backside. Oakry, too strong a contact there. That's going to be Oakry's second personal. Eric Strip comes out of the game car, checks into the game. Waba needs the basket, finds Stedman in the short right corner, who goes beyond the arc, then right in front of it. Down inside Obima. And a foul called against Carr. So that's Carr's third personal foul already. Carr six points today and already three. Personal fouls, five minutes of play. Coming off the bench, contributed well offensively, but been a little too aggressive defensively. So a tough foul there for Carr. We'll put Obima at the free throw line yet again. Obima's first shot, and just rolls out. Bima's second shot. Good. 42 35. Everdine's pulled within seven. Olinger with a quick release off the free throw line. Strong as it rattles out. but it will stay San Diego basketball. Okri, deep two, good. 18-footer for Kira Okri, 44-35, ends the scoring drought and snaps the 6-0 run from Pepperdine. Six minutes to go in the third quarter. Stedman, top of the key, between the legs. Back down inside to Obima. Obima with a great strong move and a soft touch off the glass. Makes it a 44-37 game. Calfani back out to pace. Corner for Okri. Okri pumps, drives, right side, foul. Okri tried to go up with the right arm, got slapped on the right arm, and Kira will shoot two. Obima's first personal foul for Pepperdine, fourth team foul of the quarter. And Okri will shoot two. Best free throw shooter on the team. Okri eight points tonight, three for five from the field, one for two from the free throw line. Only played 15 minutes, had to come out early after her wrap on her shoulder came loose. Makes the first free throw. 45-37. Second free throw. Good. Oakry goes two for two for the charity strike. Lead back up to nine. Oakry swats the pass away. Had a great job jumping that route. Unable to hang on to the ball, but a great rejection there for Oakry. A good defensive play. So Pepperdine inbound it yet again. Here comes the press. Float pass over to Mbanifo, who finds it over to Stedman again. 
Stedman down inside in Banafo. And Banafo at the free throw line. And Banafo at the left with the right hand. No good. And ball tipped away off of Mbanifo, so a turnover. For Pepperdine. Five ten to go in the third quarter. Ayana Calfani off the screen from Olinger. Takira Oakry to Maya Pace. Pace, Olinger thought about a three, pulls it back. Okri pulls the trigger, and it's off to the right. Pace pulls down the board. Under five to go in the third quarter. Kalfani, short corner on the left side, good for the deep two. 48-37, leads back to 11. Walls tried to force a pass down to Mbanifo, and the ball was kicked, and that will be a timeout. San Diego weathers a little bit of a wave storm from Pepperdine, and will go to the timeout, leading it 48-37, with 4.37 to go in the third quarter. Welcome back to the Jenny Craig Pavilion. San Diego leading at 48-37 with 4.37 left here in the third quarter. San Diego has shot well in the game, 49%. Jumped out to a 23-6 lead. And hasn't looked back. Pepperdine has raced back a couple of times. In fact, have made it up into a seven-point game, but then San Diego's been able to recover. Stedman loses the handle. Oakry picks it up. Calfani down the lane, in the zone, and it's good. Mayana Calfani, 12 points tonight. Trying to reach for a steal and draws too much contact on Walls. So that's Calfani's first personal foul. And that will be the fifth team foul for San Diego. So Walls will go to the free throw line. So nice little 6-0 run for San Diego to retake a 50-37 lead. Or at least add to the lead that they had before. Walls makes her first free throw. And now makes her second. Walls four for five today from the free throw line, accumulating all four of her points. 4.08 to go here in the third quarter, 50 to 39. Torero's up 11. Largest lead of the day was 20 points after a 19-0 run in the first half. Calfani, top of the key, Carr, Carr from the right, elbow, swish. Hasamran Carr. 
Has eight points coming off the bench tonight and only seven minutes of play. And has been great in the mid-range. 52-39. And Banifo goes up strong, but can't get it to go. How's to run card, try to pull down the rebound. Looked like it was off of Carr. But I guess it's going to be off of Pepperdine. So San Diego basketball, 52-39, 3.23 to go in the third quarter. Calfani, 18-footer, in. 54-39. Walls back out to Oda Obima. Waba loses it. Stedman back outside to Walls. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Walls tries to cut to the right side against Maya Pace. Eight seconds to shoot. Walls back to the left and draws contact on Maya Pace. That's Pace's second personal foul. Pepperdine already in the bonus. KK Brody comes into the game for Obima. And Walls will shoot from the free throw line. Walls makes the first. 54 to 40. Walls second free throw, also good. So she's five for six tonight. 54-41, Diana Calfani, who's got 16 points, continues to go on a scoring streak, as I mentioned. Leads the team today with 16 points. Kira Oakry's got 10. Maya Pace, Olinger, top of the key. Jess Finney just checked back in. In the corner, back to Olinger. Five seconds to shoot. Olinger pulls up a three, and it's short. Nobody's home to pull down the board. It goes out of play right in front of Courtney Riston in front of the San Diego bench. So a tough possession there for San Diego. But still lead it by 13, 54-41. San Diego... Led 23 to six after one quarter of play and since then have been outscored in the two quarters after that. Pepperdine outscoring San Diego 19-18 and then 16-13 in the third. Offensive foul on Walls. So Marley Walls now has four personal fouls for Pepperdine. <laughs> Andrea Brumfield comes in for Pepperdine. Freshman out of Washington, two-time first team All-State out of Washington. Number one, the prep girls hoop list in Washington for four consecutive years. As Ali Stedman gets called for her second foul. So Calfani will go back to the free throw line. She's two for three on the night. And misses the first. Second free throw for Calfani, good. 55-41, San Diego bringing the pressure as Jess Finney picks up Stedman in the backcourt. From the elbow is Stedman, misses strong. Calfani corrals the ball off the rebound. 90 seconds to go, Finney in the paint, good. Jess Finney's got double digits. 
with 10 points on the night. Doing well coming off the bench today. Four for nine from the field, two for four from three. Waba, left side block, good. 57-43. One minute to go in the third quarter. Olinger tried to force it down to Carr, but Mbanifo was a little too aggressive on that one. And it'll be a foul on Mbanifo. Her second personal, fifth team foul of the quarter, so San Diego in the bonus as well. Carr will shoot from the free throw line. Four for four from the field with their eight points. Two rebounds, three personal fouls. Six foot four sophomore out of India. And the first free throw is no good. It's the Central Point Christian Academy for high school in Florida. In their second year here at USD. Second free throw, also no good. Miss, missed to the right on both of them. 57-43 lead for the Toreros still. 50 seconds to go in the third quarter. Stedman across the court. Works back to the right, avoids a swiping hand from Finney, and the shot comes up empty. San Diego quickly moving it back across the court. Maya Pace on the soft touch, 59-43. Stedman now on the right side. Cross court pass into the corner. Around the horn to Brumfield on the left side arc. Down inside to Obima. And Obima draws contact on Carr going up off the right block. And that's going to be Carr's fourth personal foul. So that's Carr's fourth personal foul. And Obima will now shoot at the free throw line. Bima's been at the line six times tonight, four for six. And the free throw's good, first. Nine points tonight for Obima, trying to make it double digits and make it a 14 point game. And just short, Ollinger with the rebound. Ayana Kalfani, cross court, gets the shot off right before the end of the third quarter, but just comes up empty. San Diego has a 15 point lead on Pepperdine, trying to finish it off here with one quarter to go on the West Coast Conference Network.
One quarter of play left in San Diego, California as the Toreros lead the Pepperdine Waves 59-44. San Diego jumped out to a 23-6 lead and then have been outscored by Pepperdine 19-18 in the second and third quarter. But still maintain that 15 point lead. Jess Finney for three to get the fourth quarter started and she misses short on the far corner. Rebounded by Pepperdine. Walls inside the paint in Banifo going against Olinger. Olinger stood strong and the loose ball was almost pulled down by Newbert before she was fouled. And Banifo gets hit with the foul, her third personal. And San Diego gets the ball back. Newbert left side and a jump ball. She got hit on top of the head it looked like. We got tangled, it's gonna say a jump ball and possession will go to Pepperdine as both players collided heads. So Newbert who was sitting out for most of the third quarter with foul trouble came in at the end of the third quarter for Hassan Run Carr who got herself into foul trouble with four fouls. Newbert's going to stay in the game. As for Jane Waba, she comes off to be evaluated by the training staff. I hope she's okay. As Drea Brumfield will check into the game for Waba. Stedman at the point. Obima and Banifo. And a nice layup there for Pepperdine. 59-46. Torero's by 13. Pace. Count it. Torero's by 15. And Maya Pace to the free throw line. That's in Banifo's fourth personal foul. Second team foul of the quarter. Maya Pace will shoot at the free throw line, and that's way short. Olinger tries to get the board, gets boxed out, and Obima pulls it down for the Waves. The three on two in transition. Walls goes up and draws contact on Finney. Misses the shot, but Walls puts herself at the free throw line. 61-46 lead for San Diego. Ball's five for six from the free throw line tonight. 0 for five from the field. Has five points and also has four fouls for Pepperdine. Rosemary Odebumi comes into the game for Pepperdine. Wall's first free throw, good. 61-47. Second free throw, also good. Eight forty to go in the game. San Diego up sixty-one forty-eight, trying to add to their five-game winning streak. Trying to make it a five-game winning streak. They've won four in a row and have won eight of their last eleven. Eight seconds to shoot. Maya Pace, corner three. Just short, doesn't draw a rim. Erickstrup gets the rebound, goes up strong, and gets fouled. With two seconds left. On the shot clock. Erickstrup fouled on the floor. So it's gonna be a catch and shoot situation for San Diego. Two seconds on the shot clock. Calfani inbounds it and the catch and shoot is no good, but they're able to draw a rim and Calfani's able to get the board. Maya Pace, left elbow, down to Erickstrup, right block, Erickstrup just short, a battle for the ball underneath the basket, and it gets knocked out of bounds by Pepperdine. So 20 seconds on the shot clock for San Diego and another inbounds pass, 8.06 to go in the game, 61-48. Finney all alone for three, too strong. 
Walls pulls down the board for Pepperdine. It's a three on one. Walls kicks it over to Brumfield who passes it back out. Stedman for three and that misses to the left. Loose ball on the court. Brody picks it up. Walls for three. She bangs it in. And Pepperdine's going to call a timeout. It's a 10 point game in favor of San Diego as Walls hits a three to make things a little interesting here in the fourth quarter. We're going to take a quick timeout. 10 point lead for the Toreros on the West Coast Conference Network. Pepperdine using their second timeout has two left and have pulled within 10 points after the three point basket from Marley Walls. She's got 10 points on the night. Stedman's got 14 and Mbanifo's got 12. Walls and Mbanifo both have four fouls tonight as well. As for San Diego, Calfani 17, Finney 10, Oakry 10. And the only one in foul trouble is Carr with four and Newbert with three. Oakry for three, splash. Back to a 13 point lead for San Diego. Every time Pepperdine comes close, San Diego answers and Kira Oakry bangs it in with a three point basket to give her 13 points on the night. Good quick two back. From Obima, 64-53, seven minutes to go in the game. Newbert gets rejected, but gets the ball back. Maya Pace picks it up. Newbert outside the key, throws it away. Brumfield with the steal. Brumfield down to the right side, picks up her dribble just outside the three-point line. Cutting to the basket, Obima. Too strong with the layup, pulled down by Newbert. Calfani quickly moving the ball across the court. Layup for Calfani, short. Rebound, Eric Strupp, offensive foul, Calfani. So that's Ayana's second foul of the night. And that'll be the team's third. No, second team foul, correction. 6.30 to go. 11 point lead for San Diego as Maya Pace brings the pressure on Jane Waba. Waba with the chest high dribble across the timeline over to Walls. Marley Walls works to the left on Calfani. Marley Walls drives baseline, puts up a floater, no good. Waba rebound, the putback, that's good. Nine point lead for San Diego, 64 55. Oakry in the near side corner cuts the basket. Horsemile, right side block, dribbles it out. Six minutes in the game. Calfani, top of the key, starts to slow things down a little bit. 
almost walked. Pass over to Horsemeyer, then back over to Oakry. Far side wing, just outside the paint. Olinger back outside of the near side arc. Calfani who cuts into the lane, takes the jump shot on the West Coast Conference logo and puts it home. Back to an 11 point lead for the Toreros. Calfani now with 19 points. One away from a career high, 20 points that she set against St. Mary's two Thursdays ago. And Banifo in the lane, just bounces out. Oakry pulls down the board. Oakry, Horsemeyer cutting to the basket. A little bit of a mishandle, but is able to get the ball back. And Cindy Fisher calls a timeout with her player in duress. It'll be a quick timeout, or full timeout. It'll be a full timeout. 5-14 left in the game. Torero's leading it. 66-55 on the West Coast Conference Network. City Fisher called the timeout. As Kylie Horsmeyer was battling for the ball underneath the basket. Good timeout there for San Diego. Both teams have two timeouts left as Jess Finney gets the inbounds pass for Maya Pace. 11 point lead for San Diego, 66-55, five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. San Diego jumped out to a huge lead. 20, they led 23 to six at the end of the first quarter, led by as many as 20 points. And have kind of preserved that the rest of the game. A three pointer from Jess Finney off the mark. And Horsemeyer, the hustle play, was able to corral the ball but stepped out in the process. It will be a turnover for San Diego. San Diego, like I mentioned, 23 to 6 lead after one quarter of play. Since then, the, wave, the Waves have actually outscored San Diego. I mean, they've out scored them 19 to 18 in both the second and third quarter and currently have outscored them in the fourth quarter 11 to 7 as they try to come back into this game. Rumfield for three and that's good. Her first points of the night. That comes in a big spot. 66-58. Leads down to eight now for San Diego. Pace to Oakry to Finney to the near side Newbert. Newbert right side, cuts back to the middle is Maya Pace. Drives right side, Olinger top of the key. Newbert left block, her home, it's good. Nobody's better on the left block than Casey Newbert. 10 point lead yet again for the Toreros. Newbert's got eight. 68, 58, four minutes to go. Walls, ball knocked away, it's gonna be a foul on Oakry. Ayana Calfani comes in for Jess Finney. Oakry now has three personal fouls. Team's got three in the quarter. Brumfield with the inbound. Stedman in the corner. Gets walled off by Oakry. Stedman's been on fire from three tonight. 
Obima out to Brumfield, who just made a three, and that one's short. Walls rebound and loses the ball just enough to have to regain control. And Calfani with a rejection. Calfani with a rejection again. Back-to-back -back blocks for Ayana. Ten seconds to shoot on the shot clock. Loose ball intercepted by Maya Pace in the paint. San Diego with a great defensive possession, led by Ayana Calfani. Casey Newber with a 10-point lead at the top of the key. Gets it back to Okri, who cuts left just outside the circles. Calfani offensive foul. Will be the third foul for Calfani. Aggressive on that play. So Calfani's got three fouls, and San Diego's got four for the quarter. 3.13 to go. Walls with a waist-high dribble, walks it up the court. San Diego to man-to-man. -man. Cross-court pass, Brumfield down inside and knocked away. Last touch by Mbanifo and Pepperdine turns it over. Their 18th turnover of the game. They had 15 in the first half. Pace to Olinger. Straight away. Near side, Newbert. Off the screen from Olinger. Drives right side. Picks up her dribble just at the free throw line. Back out to Calfani. Five seconds. She's at the left elbow. Four seconds. Jump shot. Good. Ayana Calfani. Career high, 21 points tonight, which snaps her other previous career high of 20. She had against St. Mary's just a couple weeks ago. 20 points for Calfani against St. Mary's, followed by an 18-point performance against BYU, a 16-point performance against LMU, and now a 21-point performance against Pepperdine. Gives San Diego a 70-58 to lead with 2.15 to go here in the fourth quarter. Banifo over to Wabo, who picked up her dribble. It's trying to find somewhere to dish it to. Kick out. Stedman down inside to Obima. Obima too strong. Newbert with the board. And a tough board for Newbert. Maya Pace just a little too far out of the reach of Olinger on the pass. Turnover for San Diego is going to call. Cause Pepperdine to call a timeout, reevaluate. 12 point lead for San Diego. They lead it 70 to 58. I mentioned Calfani, she has a career high. 21 points tonight. We talked about her scoring performance. And over the last couple of weeks, she has really been on a tear and has helped. San Diego on this four game winning streak that they're gonna try to get to five games. And during this four game winning streak, points galore for Calfani. Not only does she have 21 points tonight, she's one assist away from getting her first ever career double-double. Pepperdine is not led in this game. And a quick two for Obima. Obima's now got 13. Full court press from Pepperdine. Maya Pace works it out. Olinger around the horn. Okri cuts back to the front court on the far side. Then to Calfani, top of the key. Calfani against Waba. Off the screen from Newbert, picks up her dribble. Olinger, straight away, eight seconds left. Newbert, left block, short. Gets her own rebound, left block again. That time too strong. And Pepperdine in transition. Stedman, cross court pass. Walls for three, yes! 70 to 63, it's a seven point game. Under a minute to go. 
Calfani, Oakry, thought about it. Drives baseline, works it out at the elbow. Maya Pace in the front court. 46 seconds left, and Stedman fouls. A little bit of miscommunication on whether or not Pepperdine could foul. Walls doesn't have any fouls to give. Acting coach Brian Rosario responded with an emphatic yes. So the foul is going to be on Stedman. That's her third. And it's the team's third. Brumfield's going to come into the game for Walls since Walls has no fouls to give. And Walls has been clutch as of late, plus has 13 points on the night. So Walls comes out. She's in foul trouble. She's the only Wave that's currently in foul trouble. And then Brumfield fouls. That's her first personal. It's going to come down to free throw shooting for San Diego here if they want to hold off Pepperdine, who's come all the way back. And Pepperdine fouls the best free throw shooter on the Toreros in Kira Oakry. Oakry tonight, three for four for the free throw line. And on the season, 81.4% free throw shooter. Haley Hoff comes in for Pepperdine. Five foot nine freshman. Getting her first action of the night. Oakry's first free throw, good. 71-63, leads back to eight. Second free throw, no good. Olinger, rebound, knocked away by Mbanifo. And it's gonna stay Torero basketball. Brumfield comes back into the game for Walls. Obviously a fouling situation here for Pepperdine. Inbound to Maya Pace. Brumfield fouls. 37.3 seconds left. Maya Pace will now shoot from the free throw line. She's a 78% free throw shooter in conference play, 72% free throw shooter this season. Pace, six points tonight. 0 for 1 from the free throw line. After that, Walls back into the game. Pace's first free throw short. Second free throw for Pace. Also misses. Newbert gets the board. Back outside, Calfani to Oakry. Oakry gets fouled by Brumfield. So Pepperdine on this possession already has already had to foul three times and has been unable to get a rebound inside the paint off of the missed free throws. San Diego has given Pepperdine the missed free throws that they needed, but they cannot get the rebound. And now the best free throw shooter back at the line for San Diego, making her first giving San Diego a 72-63 lead with 32.3 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Second free throw from Oakry, also good. So all of that ended up leading to three points for San Diego, and the seven-point lead is now a 10-point lead, and Pepperdine's gonna call their final timeout of the game. Seventy-three-sixty-three lead for San Diego who shined in the first quarter, and that's all they really needed to maintain this lead. Since then, Pepperdine has outscored San Diego by eight points. Pepperdine 19-18 in the second quarter, 19-18 in the third quarter, currently leading the fourth quarter 19-14. But that huge jump by San Diego in the first quarter has propelled them to this lead that they have, that Pepperdine has been trying to come back from the entire game. Pepperdine's never led the game today, and they gave up a 19-0 run after tying the game at two in the first quarter. San Diego's also shot better when they usually do 10 percentage points better than average. 
on the season. They're a 38.8% uh, shooting team. And tonight they're shooting 48% from the field. So Pepperdine's got to score quickly here. They're down 10. Waba drives the lane, outside pass. Stedman for three, no good. And Banifo can't get the rebound. Goes hard into the bench, knocks over a couple of chairs. But she's okay. Last touched by Casey Newbert, so Pepperdine will keep the possession. 4.3 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Looking for some points quickly. Inbounds to Walls. Walls penetrates right side, layup no good, no foul. Calfani pulls down the board and Waba fouls. 15.6 ticks left. So Calfani can add to her career high in points by going to the free throw line here. 21 points tonight for Calfani. She was nine for 15 from the field. Three for five for the free throw line, seven rebounds, and is one assist away from getting that first career double-double. First shot for Calfani, good, 22 points to add to her, her career high. Second free throw, also good. 75-63 lead for San Diego, 10 seconds left in the game. Waba penetrates right side, the floater no good, and Banaho can't get it the board, and San Diego wins it big, 75-63. Toreros with the win, improved to 15 and 10. They extend their winning streak to five games and have now won nine of the last 12. They are now nine and five in West Coast Conference play, maintain the number three spot in the West Coast Conference standings as they hold off BYU by a game after BYU won earlier today. Next game for us, February 23rd against Gonzaga and then February 25th against Portland. San Diego will travel to the Bay Area in between then next Thursday and Saturday against San Francisco and Santa Clara. And when they come back, two more home games to wrap up the regular season. For all of us here at the University of San Diego and the West Coast Conference Network, I'm Braden Sopranit signing off. San Diego wins it tonight, 75-63 over Pepperdine. We will see you on February 23rd as Gonzaga comes to San Diego. Have a good night.